Miss Momita from Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College welcome you all to online teaching 2020-2021. Today we are going to study about inside the atom that is the fifth chapter of eighth standard. First, we are going to study about the atomic structure. As you all know that an atom is the smallest particle of an element. This atom contains three subatomic particles that is protons, neutrons and electrons. First, we are going to deal with nucleus. What is nucleus? Nucleus is present at the center of the atom. This nucleus is positively charged because it consists of two subatomic particles, that is protons and neutrons, which are also referred to as nucleons. Now coming to protons. Proton is the positively charged particle, which is denoted by the symbol P. Neutron is electrically neutral, that is it has no charge and is denoted by the symbol N and both these protons and neutrons are located inside the nucleus. Now coming to electrons. Now what exactly are electrons? Electrons are negatively charged particles which revolve around the nucleus in specific orbits and is denoted by the symbol E. Now coming to atomic number. The number of electrons or protons in an atom is called atomic number and this atomic number is denoted by the letter Z. Now coming to atomic mass number, already I told you that the subatomic particles which are present inside the nucleus are protons and neutrons and the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus is referred to as atomic mass number and is denoted by the letter A. Now coming to distribution of electrons. As already it has been told that electrons revolve in specific orbits around the nucleus. These shells or orbits have definite energy. The shell which is closest to the nucleus is the first shell and the next shell is considered to be the second shell. Now there are at least four shells which are being referred to by the symbols that is K, L, M and N and these are corresponding to the ordinal numbers that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now coming to this electronic configuration of elements. Now as already you know that the electrons generally they revolve in different specific orbits. So these electrons are, are distributed in the shells according to their maximum capacity. As already I told you that the four shells that is K, L, M and N this shells generally has the maximum capacity. For example, K shell has two electrons, L shell has eight electrons, M shell has 18 electrons, and N shell has 32 electrons. And generally, energy of the electron in the first shell is considered to be the lowest, and gradually this energy is going to increase with the ordinal number of the shell and generally this electronic configuration is such that the energy of all the electrons together is the maximum possible and electrons get a place in the shell for example the first shell that is k it, its capacity is only to accommodate two electrons l has the capacity to accommodate eight M has the capacity to accommodate 18 and N has the capacity to accommodate 32 
electrons. Now coming to this electronic configuration. Now, as I told you, according to the atomic number, the electrons are being um, distributed. For example, hydrogen. Hydrogen, the atomic number is one. Hence, the first electron is going to have only one electron. Now, secondly, the helium. Helium, as the atomic number is two, the first shell can accommodate only two electrons. Carbon, the atomic number is six. So the first shell is going to accommodate two electrons and the second shell is going to accommodate four electrons. Neon, the atomic number is 10. The first shell is going to accommodate two electrons and the second shell is going to accommodate eight electrons. Whereas sodium, the atomic number is 11. Where the first shell can accommodate two electrons, the second shell can accommodate eight electrons and the last shell is accommodating only one electron. Now coming to valency and valence electrons. Now what exactly is valency? Valency generally is the combining capacity of an element and it is being determined by the configuration of its outermost shell. The electrons in the outermost shell are considered to be the valence electrons and if the valence electrons is less than four, then the valency is going to be considered the number which the outermost shell can accommodate. And if the, if the outermost shell is having four or more than four electrons, then the valency is considered to be the number by which the outermost shell can form an octet by combining with two or more electrons. Now coming to the isotopes. Now what exactly are the isotopes? Isotopes of the same element having the same atomic number, but different atomic mass numbers are called isotopes. For example, like hydrogen. Hydrogen has three isotopes. Similarly, like chlorine. Chlorine has two isotopes. Then carbon also has two isotopes. Now coming to the uses of isotopes, uranium-235 is an isotope which is used for nuclear fission and production of electricity. Then radioactive isotopes like cobalt-60 are used in the treatment of cancer. Then iodine-131 is used in the treatment of goiter. Now, goiter is a disease which is resulting in the inflammation in the throat. Then the radioactive isotopes are used in the detection of cracks in the underground pipes and these radioisotopes are also being used for food preservation from the microbes. Now coming to nuclear reactor, as already I told you that this nuclear reactor is a machine that generates electricity on a large scale by using atomic energy. Now generally when we are talking about this uh, nuclear reactor, we need to understand how is it possible like on collision or on coming in interaction with the slow speed neutrons. For example, if I am taking the isotope of uranium, it undergoes nuclear fission. Fission means a breakage to form nuclei of two different elements that is krypton 92 and barium 141 and two to three neutrons. In this way, what is happening gradually, a chain reaction of nuclear fusion takes place. Now, if we have to control this chain reaction, it is very much necessary to decrease the speed and number of neutrons. And this is possible only through moderator and controller. Moderator, for example, graphite or heavy water for reducing the speed of the neutrons. Boron, cadmium, beryllium, etc. are used as controller to reduce the number of the electrons. And generally, the heat produced in the fusion process 
how is it being taken out it is being taken out by using the water and water is acting as a coolant and this water gradually gets transformed into steam and by means of the heat turbines are driven and gradually the electricity is being generated thank you